welcome back to my channel. I'm Shauna if you're new. I don't know why but I'm really like nervous to record this video today. It's another thread up 50 pound denim unboxing and I feel like this pile is like the biggest one that I've gotten. Um, I had to carry everything upstairs by piles. I tried not to look at what brands I got and stuff but it's just it's a really really big pile of denim and I'm excited to see what I get but hopefully it'll be worth the money. I spent about a hundred dollars um oh wait no 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 this one was less this one was sixty dollars so I spent sixty dollars on all of this hopefully it was worth it I just recorded a shoe unboxing that one I spent like a hundred on but that box was amazing and it was from Georgia this one's also from Georgia so I'm hoping this one will be amazing like the other one but I just don't know <laughs> So um, let's just get into it. So at the end of this video, I will tell you guys my final numbers. I'll let you know how many things I have in my yes pile, how many I have in my no pile, and how much it ended up costing me per item and all that good stuff uh, will be at the end of this video. So I decided to look up these jeans because I had never heard of this brand, but this hardware looked really nice on these. Um, so the brand is Loro Piana, and it looked like that these were consistently selling anywhere from $40 to $90, so that's a good sign. It does say made in Italy, and it's a size 42, so I'm assuming that's like a different country sizing. Um, I'll have to look up the size chart and figure it out. But these are a really nice pair of jeans. Um, I think they're just a mid-rise. And they appear to be a straight leg jean. But yeah, these are super nice. Has like this really nice heavy duty gold hardware. So yeah, these are definitely going to be a yes. So these I'm gonna throw in my no pile. I'm gonna be very harsh. Um, when it comes to this haul because I have a lot of stuff that I still need to list so I'm okay with saying no to stuff um, but these are elite boyfriend jeans in a size 11 I believe these would be like a junior size but these are super thin and flimsy and they're just like a knee length pant I don't capri I guess so these are going to be a no. These are a pair of Miss Me jeans and they're a size 29. And um, I don't see any missing studs or anything, so that's good. These are definitely going to be a yes. Miss Me does sell uh, pretty well, especially if it's a bigger size. So yeah, I'm definitely cool with that. And they have like the flat pockets in the back, so. Yep, these will be a yes. These are boot cut jeans. These are by Gap, and they appear to be in good condition. This is uh, always skinny in a size 27. This is the Gap logo, and then the style and the size. They're just a nice pair of skinny jeans. I'll definitely sell these. These are a good bread and butter type item. We have some American Eagle jeans. I believe these are going to be the jegging style. Um, I've sold these multiple times. I will definitely say yes to these, especially since they're in good condition. Yes, so these are the high rise jegging. And then there is the American Eagle logo. And yeah, I mean, these are very excellent condition. They are a size zero long. So this is also a really good bread and butter type item. Okay, so these are some maternity pants and they appear to be in excellent condition. They are like a skinny leg and they are by Old Navy. So I'll sell these. I don't know what they'll sell for. Um, but these are maternity rockstar super skinny jeans so we'll see um not sure what the size is on these though if i can't find the size oh yeah the size was cut out of a uh 
I think. I don't know. I might not sell them if I can't figure out the size. Um, for now, they will go in my yes pile. Um, but hopefully, I can figure out the size. Maybe there's some similar listings with measurements. But we'll see. <laughs> so, we have a pair of shorts by American Eagle. And as long as these are in good condition, I will sell them. Because that's uh, another nice bread and butter type piece. So there is the American Eagle tag. They're just a pair of Distress shorts. I believe these are older American Eagle, just because the tag looks different. Um, these are a size 6, and I don't see a style on these, so that's another reason why I think these are older. Because usually the style is just like embroidered in the front area. But yeah, so they're a size 6. Regardless, I will list them. So this is by BDG, and it looks like it's a snap front skirt. So it snaps all the way down the front. BDG, I believe, is Urban Outfitters. It looks like it's missing some snaps. Yeah, it looks like it's missing two of the snaps. So I'm not going to sell it. Um, it would have been a cute style, but since it's missing snaps, I'm not going to sell it. Um, it's not worth it, especially since it probably only would have been like an $18 sale. We have another pair of shorts, I believe. Yeah, these are shorts. These are Old Navy Boyfriend shorts. Um, they are an interesting style, so they're black ones, and then they have like, like these square... I wonder if these maybe used to be patched? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I think it was patched underneath. Gotcha. Um, I'm not sure if that was done by Old Navy or not, but that's what the squares are. Patches. Um, otherwise, I mean, they're in excellent condition. I'll sell them. I'll just note that and just say I have no idea. Although it looks like the size was cut out of it, so I'm not sure what the size is. I'll throw these in my yes pile and hope I can figure out the size. <laughs> so these are by Universal Thread, which is, I believe, Target. They're just a pair of skinny jeans. They appear to be high-rise. Um, size 10. Yeah, these are the high-rise skinny. I'll sell these. Um... It's a good style. I'm not sure how much it'll sell for. Um, probably $18, $15. These are Brandy Melville jeans. I don't think I've ever sold Brandy Melville. But these appear to be super tiny skinny jeans. And it doesn't say what the size is, so I don't know. My guess would be like a size 4 or something but or not a size four a size 24 like double zero type situation um i'll throw these in my yes pile and just do research see if i can figure it out oh we have another pair of miss me jeans that's fun um these are a size 28 these are also boot cut um so Bit of a smaller size than the other ones, but I will sell them as long as they're in good condition. Um, at first glance, I don't see... Oh, actually, so there is at least one missing stud. There should be a stud right there, but that's very minor. So, I'll list these. Why not? I've sold uh, Miss Me's with like one of the patch studs missing, so these will do well. We have some camo. Um, I don't know what this brand is. So the brand tag was cut out of it and there's just a D on the button. Um, it's not focusing, but uh, it's a lowercase D and it's just this denim skirt. Yeah, I'm not going to sell this. Um, it feels very cheap. So these are LA Blues, and um, I'm guessing this is a very cheap brand. These just don't appear to be very well made. 
there's some like a capri style um i'll say no to these they're size 16. so i hate the color of these these are silver jeans but these are like really old silver jeans they're a flare style and the cup i just i hate denim that's like this like i don't know if the denim's made like this or if it just becomes like this for some reason like if someone i don't know it's just it's yellow it's gross i'm not selling it <laughs> okay so we have a pair of shorts by blue at um asphalt it's like a triple button pair of shorts um don't know if I want to sell these. They're size seven, so they're a junior size. Um, there's some staining on these, so I'm not gonna sell these. Especially since I was already on the fence about them since I didn't know what the brand was. Um, so these are Rue 21, which is an inexpensive brand, but they're a pair of shorts and they're in season. So I'll try selling them. If they don't sell by the end of the summer, I'm just gonna donate them. But they're a pretty cute pair of shorts and they appear to be a bigger size. Um, a 13 slash 14. So yeah, why not? I'll try selling them, see how they do. I think I slightly moved the camera as I was trying to grab stuff. So these are another pair of American Eagle jeggings. These are just normal jeggings though. So, our super stretch, um, size double zero, regular, and they're just a pair of distressed jeggings. So, um, I think I'll sell these. The distressing appears to be factory distressing, so... Um, they're in good enough condition for me to be willing to sell them. These are Adriano Goldschmied, but these are like old Adriano Goldschmied. I've never seen this label. Like, have you guys seen this label? I definitely have not. Um, I am not sure if, I feel like these might be an ankle style, like some sort of crop style. Um, there's no size, um, it looks like the size tag was cut out of it, so I don't know, um, I have no idea. I'll stick these in my yes pile, but I'm very, like, hesitant about the yes, sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus, um, I just, I don't know, it's, like, part of me wants to sell them because they're Adriana Goldschmied, but I don't know. These are William Rast, which I don't, I have no idea if that's a good brand. Um, these are Bell Flare jeans. There is the William Rast logo with the Bell Flare. Um, these are a size 26. I mean, they're a cute style. I'll stick these in my yes pile but I'm not sure what my expected profit will be from these. I feel like I recognize William Rast though, so part of me feels like it's a good brand, but I don't know for sure. But they appear to be really well-made jeans, so I'm gonna hope for the best. <laughs> um, these are some old navy jeans that are super stretched out, so I feel like these are probably going to be a no. Um, they're just original mid-rise jeans, yeah. Look at that, that's terrible. I am not gonna sell these. These are just too worn for me. <laughs> we have a pair of little girl <laughs> jeans. Very adorable um, by Majoral Girl. I don't know. There is the tag. Um, they have adjustable waist. I'll have to do more research about these. There's like a bunch of tag stuff going on in the inside. Um, but I'll list them. They're really cute. This is a pair of Old Navy The Flirt jeans. Um, I think I'll sell these as long as there's a size on the inside. Um, they appear to be in decent enough condition. Um, they are a size one, so these might be a junior size then, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Regardless, I'll list them, why not? 
these are a pair of Bowden jeans, which I don't think I've sold Bowden jeans before, but um, they appear to be a cute style. There is Bowden. These are size uh, six regular, so yeah, might be a crop jean. We have a pair of uh, Levi's signature boot cut jeans. Um, I believe these are going to be a men's style. There it is. Levi's boot cuts. There is the patch on the back. Um, I've never seen this patch before. It says these are size 36-30. These are a pair of Jean Star jeans. Um, just, uh, I'm not going to sell these. But here's an overview of them. They just appear to be too dated for me. And these are size 12. Yeah, they just look too old. We have a George denim jacket. Um, I'll sell this. This is a fun jacket. Um, I'm kind of representing it like terribly, but... Yeah, I think it's a fun style. It has like, oh, it's new with tags. Cool. So it's a new tag jacket. It only retailed for $22.92 though. So I'm not going to get a whole bunch from this jacket, but it is new with tags and it's a fun denim jacket. So we will sell that. Maybe I'll get like 10 bucks for it. <laughs> we have a pair of Levi's that are new with tag. There is that. Uh, these are the 527 and a size 34, 36. So it sits below the waist, it's slim through the thigh, and it's a boot cut leg. So I will definitely sell these, and clearly they are distressed. These I'm not going to sell because there is too much stretching, but it's just time and true, which is Walmart. But there's like a lot of stretching in the legs, especially around the distressed parts so these will be a new oh these are free people um the tag was ripped out of it but it does say on the button that these are free people jeans and um they appear to be a cute style they have distressing in the knee and then a frayed hem um I'll sell these as long as I don't find like any stains or anything on them. These are a pair of Pac Sun jeggings in a size 24. So there is the Pac Sun tag, and they're just a pair of light wash distressed skinny jeans. Um, I'll sell these. Why not? They don't appear to be in terrible condition. So I have a giant yes pile, which is good, <laughs> especially since I was so like. Um, worried about this box. Um, so this is a Lauren Ralph Lauren um, size 2X chambray button down shirt. I'm going to represent it terribly, but I don't want to button it. <laughs> but it's just a chambray button down. Sorry, my camera died and I had to fix my chair because there's a loose bolt thing in it and it keeps falling out, but I don't have any tools up here so it's a whole thing <laughs> but anyways so these are some gap jeans they're skinny um they're a size 30 or 10 regular there is the size and then the gap so these appear to be a little bit more worn but the jean like itself looks fine um, the only really wear that I'm seeing is like the label. So I think these will do okay. I'll definitely list these guys. Don't think I'm going to list these. These look really old. Uh, it's by The Limited. There is that tag. And yeah, they're just a pair of like capris. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not a huge fan of these. So I will just donate these. These are Express Jeans. Honestly, I'm not sure if I've sold Express Jeans. I know I've gotten them from these boxes, but I feel like they've always been damaged in the past. Like not sellable condition. 
These are a pair of distressed skinny jeans. Um, they appear to be in good enough condition to sell. Um, I can't tell if there's any stains, but I guess I'll, I'll find out whenever I hang it up. But these are a um, size four. And yeah, just mid-rise legging is the style. So these are buffalo jeans. They're a bigger size. Uh, they're size 34 buffalo David Bitten. I don't know. But a pair of jeans. Um, it looks like there is a button missing on this pocket. But if it's a good brand, I'll list them anyway. Um, if it isn't a super amazing brand, I don't think I'll list these. Um, I'm not sure the, um, yeah, so I guess we'll just, we'll have to see. But with them being a bigger size, I would like to be able to list them. These are Celebrity Pink, which, um, I don't think is anything fantastic. These are mid-rise skinny, uh, they, they don't really feel like jeans, but they're technically jeans. They're like just a very stretchy fabric. So, uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna list them. Okay, so we have a denim jacket by Old Navy. It's a size medium. It is this like white, off-white color. Um, I will list it as long as there aren't any stains. I can't really, oh, actually, yep, it, there are some stains. I don't know if you guys will be able to see them. Um, I can't even find them now. It's so hard to tell in this lighting. I'm not going to sell it. It's fine. So these are American Eagle. Um, I think, yeah, so these are another pair of jeggings. Um, these I don't think are going to be in sellable condition. Um, the belt loop ripped up on this one, so there's a big hole right there. And then there appears to be some holes right there. So um, I'm just going to throw these in my no pile. So these are Seven for All Mankind ginger jeans. Um, I'm not sure if this is a sought after style. I know um, the dojo jean was but these are really cute like a super wide flare leg i feel like these would be sought after like that's a really cute style so i will definitely list these they're very like thin like they almost feel like a chambray material like when i felt them at first i thought there, it was gonna be another cheap brand but i don't know okay so these are articles of society which i don't know what that brand is um, if these are in good condition, I'll just stick them in my yes pile, uh, just because I don't know. And I mean, the hardware is like really nice feeling, so I don't know. Articles of Society, Los Angeles. I don't know. Um, size 25, so they are a smaller size. Maybe it's something that's like sold on Revolve or something. That'd be cool, but they're just a pair of distressed jeans. I mean, they're really cute, so. These are J. Crew toothpick jeans. Um, I think it's been like over a year since I've sold the style, so I'm not sure if it still sells well, but they're just a pair of grayish black jeans. Um, they're size 28 ankle. And I mean, they appear to be in good enough condition to sell. So why not? I'll sell them. These are another pair of express jeans, but they appear to be a lot more worn. Like there's some pilling and stuff at the edges. Um, these appear to be a cute style though. They have a flare leg, which flare legs are in. Um, I'm trying to can't tell if like these are super worn or not to be honest um yeah slim flare and it looks like the size wore off like there's no like you can't read anything on this tag anymore so that's a little unfortunate so I have no idea what size these are um yeah I don't know 
They're cute though, so maybe I can measure them and figure it out. I feel like it'd be worth trying to figure it out unless I find some other flaws on them. These are crazy. I have no idea what these are, but I think I'll sell them. Um, let me zip these up because these are like huge and I don't, I want to represent these properly. So these are like super embellished jeans. Um, they're either plus size or men's jean. I feel like they might be a men's jean though, but super embellished. The back side is like crazy. Like I love these. Um, they're a size 40. So yeah, these are definitely men's. Um, Academics is the brand I believe. I mean, I feel like these have got to be something. These are just, these jeans are crazy. How can these not be something? Yeah, I have no idea. Um, but these are awesome and I'm totally gonna sell them. They have some distressing and stuff on them, but I mean, yeah, like the pocket, like there's a hole in the pocket and stuff. So I don't know. These might not be sellable. I'll have to look them over more. Um, if they're super expensive though, I'll just note the damage because otherwise these jeans are in pretty good condition. So, well, unfortunately it looks like they'll probably only sell for like 20 bucks. So these are a pair of something chip and pepper. I don't know. I don't recognize this brand chip and pepper. Um, I mean, they appear to be in good condition. These ones I'm kind of intrigued by, so I'll put them in my yes pile and just see if they're anything worthwhile. Um, has that embroidery on the inside. Um, these are a size 36, so at least they're a bigger size. I don't know. Uh, so these are Lee. Some Lee jeans. Um, these are definitely a bigger size and they appear to be in good condition. These might be vintage maybe. I don't know. Um, I know some people like vintage Lee. Um, I mean the, the material tag and stuff is super worn off so I can't really tell what size these are supposed to be. Um, I mean, these might be worth trying to sell, like do measurements and stuff. So I'll put these in my yes pile. Um, yeah, I mean, they're in good, good enough condition. So we shall see. <laughs> so these are a pair of Levi's. So these look really cool. I feel like these are a mom jean style maybe. Yeah, I mean, they kind of look like they have a tapered leg. I don't know, but <laughs> let me zip these up. Um, they appear to be high rise. Um, I'm not sure if these are vintage. I mean, they kind of look like they would be. Yeah, so these are like a high rise. They kind of look like they have an acid wash to them. Yeah, I think these are a tapered leg. And there is the patch on the back. Um, and then it looks like the tab has like gold writing. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that at all, but it looks like it has some gold writing. But it says special reserve. So I don't know what that means. It says special reserve on the button too. Let me know in the comment section down below if this is like a particular line of Levi's or if these might be fake, I don't know. But um, they appear to be old and honestly, if they fit me, I think I'll keep them. So, and then maybe eventually sell them. I don't know. Let's see if I can find the size tag. So it does have one of the older paper tags and it says it's a waist 30 length 34 and that's what it says on the actual like care tag um it looks a little different from the care tags that i'm used to seeing 
So I'm not entirely sure how to date these. Yeah, so let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below about these jeans. But they are definitely really cool. Okay, so the last pair of pants, I have no idea what this is. This is what the tag looks like, but these feel super cheap. Sorry, it's not wanting to focus at all. These feel super lightweight and cheap, so I don't think I'm gonna bother trying to sell them. But that's what they look like. So, um, and they have like that zipper in the back. So I'm just gonna say no to these. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go through and count how many pairs of jeans that I got from this box and come back and tell you guys the final numbers for this video. Okay, so I have the final numbers. So um, total in my no pile is 16 items and in my yes pile, I have 32 items. So all together, I got 48 items. So I'm definitely glad my yes pile is bigger than my no pile. Um, that's definitely the ideal situation. Overall, I'm happy with everything I got. Um, obvious with these boxes, there's going to be duds. Like it's just expected. You can't expect to have a perfect box, but um, I think this is definitely one of the more ideal scenarios. So when I divide out um, how much I paid total for the box and um, the amount of items in my yes pile, I ended up paying $1.25 per item. So, I mean, that's cheaper than thrift store prices. That's like bins prices, basically, which I don't go to the bins. I would like to, but I just haven't. <laughs> But yeah, so let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Um, I definitely am a lot happier with this haul than I am with uh, my previous one. Make sure you like this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!